Calgary on the on prison this coming Friday, huh? Well, that'll be a great matchup. That'll be a tremendous matchup. Oh, terrific. Always banging and pushing and shoving and uh, a lot of action. Lanny Popo, the guy who uh, has great moves. Well, I didn't quite get what Terry Gibbs was shouting at me there. What was that, uh, he, he was looking you right in the eye, Lord Alfred Hayes. I don't know what he had to say, but he was upset about something. And now he's bailed out. He's between the top and second ropes on the ringsiders, and boy, they're uh, they're very vocal here at the Spectrum, and they're on this case. Leap and Laddie, I was about to say, showing uh, in past uh, times at the Spectrum, where he wrestles, a great deal of wrestling agility and prowess, Lord Alvin. Yes, he does indeed. Lanny Poffo is not only a brilliant poet and has a way with words, he also is a brilliant wrestler and uh, has a way with his moves, which, quite honestly, a lot of other wrestlers have tried to duplicate and have never been able to achieve. He is very acrobatic, and I'll tell you, he can back it up, as you say. But he takes, uh, he takes him, Terry Gibbs right in hand and gives him a shove. Now, Gibbs is saying to the referee, Ray Malasecki, that, hey, there was a hair pull. I don't really believe I saw it, but uh, he got shoved on his buns. I think that's what he's upset about. And the fans of ringside are still on his case. <laughs> They're reminding him of what happened just then. Lanny Poffo, if you look at him very closely, Dick, well, you don't have to really look closely. He's definitely bulked up, bulked up a lot this year for 1988. You know, I thought I was imagining it, Lord Alfred. I, I said, wait a minute, has he had a little bit more weight along with working with the weights? Yes. He's definitely bulked up, hasn't he? But hasn't, look, hasn't stopped him. Look at the acrobatics. Nice move there by Poffo. A backflip, one hand, takes a lot of doing. Terry Gibbs, very wise. The fans are trying to get on his case about it by bailing out, putting a leg over the second rope, and uh, you know, breaking off the action. But that's not uncommon in wrestling, as you very well know. No, Terry Gibbs is a notorious slow starter, although he seems to be piling on the pressure now. Well, nice arm. Uh, wow! A shoulder block takedown of Popo, but he, in turn, has the better of uh, Terry Gibbs right now putting some pressure on the arm. Absolutely. Poffo turned that to his own advantage, finished up with that arm bar there, and that's always the hallmark of a good wrestler when he can take advantage of a situation. I think there, in fact, Gibbs went a little high. He was, uh, his timing was good, but his accuracy wasn't so Maybe good. Maybe so. Well, he's, he's giving up a little bit of weight there. He's not a lightweight by any means, but he's giving up a little bit of bulk to Lonnie Poffo, and he is an elbow drop, and he misses. There's an arm drag takedown by Poffo, and Gibbs is down flat on his back, and was certainly not in a compromising position, it seems. No, Lonnie Poffo executed that really nicely, too. Well, you know what I, I like about the arm uh, drag? Because it, it literally whips the weight of the man. It uses his own weight against him, and he just whipped him down to the... Uh, to the canvas. Yes, and Poffo also managed to get a little twist into that as well, and that can sort of do something to your uh, equilibrium. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that Gibbs just sort of very, very quietly rolled a backward somersault to get out of that hold a little bit. He was some pressure on the arm, and I think he was just trying to alleviate it. But certainly, Poffo is still maintaining the pressure on the arm and shoulder of uh, Terry Gibbs. Yes, he is. At the moment, everything seems to be going Poffo's way, but never right off Gibbs because he's a veteran wrestler and he is very well versed in the ways of younger wrestlers. Well, there's snap bear takedown by uh, Gibbs. He drops an elbow on the Popo. Couldn't see where it landed, but it connected somehow. Uh, there's a shot to the side of the head. Gibbs, Gibbs is looking a little sharper now. Oh! Popo! Popo blocked that. The head going to the top turnbuckle, not then though, and Popo turned it around. Look at the dexterity of Poffo there. My look at the word. stretch. Look at it. Now that takes a lot of balance to do that. Really in shape. Really in shape. Meanwhile, still working on that left arm. Well, the fans are out of him en masse because of the. Uh, I mean, they are never happy anyway. But there's a lot of excitement in the World Wrestling Federation because of the recent turn of events at Indianapolis, which we'll talk about from time to time before we get to the matchup and the tag team later. But Hulk Hogan and Andre, no love lost for sure at this point in time. My word, there's a lot to answer for there. And when it's all sorted out, goodness knows what the, uh, the end conclusion will be. I don't know what the ramifications will be. Is, uh, nobody really knows at this point in time, but I'm telling you, it shook the World Wrestling Federation. <laughs> 
Well, I, I really don't see how Ted DiBiase, the million dollar man, can claim that he is the world champion, but he has done. He, he said has, he would do it. But he didn't face off against the hookster, you know? He was there, but he wasn't there. <laughs> Popo takes a slapper across the uh, upper area. He goes outside the ring. And the fans, some cheering, some uh, jeering. Jerry Gibbs, man from Florida. Gibbs appeared to get fed up with Popo's efforts and decided to slap him around a little bit and throw him out the ring, maybe try and wake him up. I don't know what raised the uh, ire in Popo and hope that he becomes careless, but Popo is a very precise wrestler and he doesn't easily lose his uh, thinking ability. Well, he's not what you call a flamboyant wrestler. He has, yeah, he has the acrobatic moves, does Lenny Popo, but as you say, he's very disciplined. He doesn't uh, do moves unless they mean something. No, that's very true. Oh, nice maneuver. Oh, whoa. Well, we had him going down, but Gibbs dropped a, a fist on and then an elbow. Yes, that's where a veteran shows his experience just there. He more or less had an idea what Popo was going to do, and once again, he took advantage of it. Oh, a lot of power to that backbreaker One, there. Two, Lanny kicks out. Gibbs just a little nonchalant with that cover, didn't bother to hook a leg. Oh, bear hug on Popo. He's cutting off Popo's win now. He's knocked him around a little bit. This is a good uh, series of moves for Gibbs. He's wearing his man down, cutting his wind off. He didn't pin him just now, but he certainly came very close to it. You know, a lot, as I'm telling you, some of you, you know very well, but the conditioning of a wrestler, now they're all in pretty good shape, but some really work so hard at it that it holds them together sometimes in late stages of a match when maybe they've been uh, pushed around pretty well. Yes, absolutely. A little hip roll and Popo on the move again. Oh, nice maneuver by Popo, but he got stung by Gibbs. Yeah, Gibbs managed to turn on his side there, and Popo came down on Gibbs' shoulder. Didn't do Popo's back any good, and now Gibbs very quick to take advantage of that. Was he applauding himself just then? Uh, yeah, I don't think we've, uh, we're surprised at it too much. Gibbs didn't, really didn't have him in a pinning situation. <laughs> although, uh, Pushing the referee around, huh? Jerry That's Gibson. very, very dangerous. Well, Gibbs wanted a faster count than he got from the uh, referee. That's always... Oh, he blocked it beautifully. Bounced his head off the top turnbuckle, but Popo needs a few seconds to gain, uh, regain his composure. Yes, he's uh, a little bit weak right now and stunned, but he's firing back. He's got a lot of resilience. Yes, he does. Look at it. Flying elbow, look to be. At first, that looked like a desperation move, but it seems as if Popo may have his... Ah! What is this? Nice maneuver. You talk about acrobatics by Lanny Popo. There, you know, he practices these things and he knows exactly what he's doing. There's a right hand uppercut, if you will, a repeat of that on the jaw of Terry Gibbs. He crashes to the to the mat, holding on to the bottom rope. And Popo going to give him a size 13 across the head. Really, the pendulum was swung now in the favor of Popo. Popo's doing remarkably well. Nice, for a young uh, man who kick. was on the receiving end of a lot sloppy cover. Didn't have the leg hooked, and uh, thus Terry Gibbs escaped the pinning situation. Oh! Thought he's going to do a back body drop, but uh, Gibbs just got put on the brakes. That brought his size 12 up against the jaw of Lanny Popo. He's going up there with the... Oh, oh look at Popo! Oh, nicely! Oh! Awesome! Look out, fans! <laughs> We've seen Popo do this many, many times, and is he agile? Look. He's placing him. I think he's going to go for his backflip on him. Indeed, he has. Two, three. And that's all she wrote. Very nice, competent move there. By Popo wins him the decision in this opening match, which was a real good match. All right, let's get the announcement on this. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this contest is Leaping Lenny Popo! The fans, uh, those are booing. I don't think it really yes, deep down quarreled that. Popo had just been playing possum before this. That's right. Here he has the backflip. He has it, but Hooks. that nice backflip. Hooks the leg. The left leg. 
and there's no way Gibbs can escape from that one, two, three. Well, one, two, three, and that's all she wrote. It's official. Dick Graham here with Lord Alfred Hayes. We'll be right back after this. You're watching Spectrum Wrestling exclusively on Prism. Thank you. 